We just planted our new pumpkin patch a couple weeks ago. It's already growing. And every time we do something like this, whether it's our animal up the mountain or a new garden spot, I always think about water. How are we gonna get water to it? Especially after it gets a huge downpour here, I think I should be saving this water. We have pumpkins, watermelons, and then we just planted sunflowers. These were from our mammoth sunflower that we grew back at our old property. I'm gonna use two 55 gallon barrels to save water for this garden. And I need to figure out what kind of structure I need to elevate those at to gravity feed it to the garden. And also how I'm gonna save the rain. The one thing that was important for me when building this is that I wanted it to be movable. Something that we could move around the property if we don't want it in one spot. We have not been here long enough to say, yes, I'm gonna build a permanent water tower right there. We haven't been here long enough. You know, there's other things I wanna do. So this structure is gonna be movable. But now that I have my mini truck, anything's possible. I'm figuring 55 gallon barrel filled with water. It's gotta hold around 450 pounds. I'm gonna try to reuse what I already have. I have a bunch of these bolts for some reason. I'm gonna use this as a spacer to lift up this two by four right here because you don't want that dragging on the ground on the very bottom here. If I ever pull this along the ground, I'm lifting it up about, about this high. I have screws in each corners, plus I'm putting in bolts. Uh, just, you know, it's gonna be heavy. Um, I'm seeing a lot of wobble there. So I'm, maybe I should put some cross braces.
Milwaukee or DeWalt? Which would you choose? Mmm, doesn't really matter. They both are really good, work good. And it depends on what kind of sales are going on. Sometimes they offer a free battery. On this cross brace, I'm gonna go opposite way. That one's going this way. I'm gonna go this other way with it. I think that's gonna work because it's diagonal. Even this on this side, I didn't do the other side yet. And it, it doesn't seem to wanna do this. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not feeling this project. I mean, part of me is like, is this gonna work? And a part of me is like, I want this to be movable. I don't know if it's gonna be movable. Uh, how much water is this really gonna collect when it rains? I mean, these things are coming through my mind as I'm filming this and as I'm building it. Also, is my little mini truck gonna pull this? Sometimes I think when I build stuff that I'm just wasting my time because it's, I already kind of know in my head, this is not gonna work because I'm, then I'm filming it too, so I'm, it's actually taking me twice as longer to build this because I am filming it, uh, because that's just what I do. We're just gonna keep at it, keep moving forward, and see how this goes. Follow the plan, stay on course. I saved this plastic gutter. Three years I've had it. Now I'm gonna finally use it. You don't have a long straight edge, you have a scrap of wood, piece of two by four, rip down two by four, something, just something that's straight. Cause I'm gonna cut this plastic right in half. Let's see what kind of scraps we have in here. I love it when I use scrap wood. It's almost like, uh, you know, it's just kind of a relief. Like I'm using the wood for something. I didn't save it for nothing. Now that I dry fit this, uh, we need to cement it all together. Take it apart, get some glue, PVC cement, and then put it back together. We're almost done. I gotta put this together. This is where the rain's gonna come in through there and then go and dump into the barrels. Whenever you're working with PVC, plumbing, you know, it's better to do a dry fit first before it's final, before you put the glue on. All right, it's been a couple weeks, but I think I finally finished. Now we need to drag this thing out of here and move it to where we need it.
it looks like we're gonna get some rain. So I need to collect some rain, so I'm trying to hurry up. It's working. Man. Oh yeah, no problem. It's pretty light enough where I can move it by hand. And of course with no water in it, when you install the downspout, two inch, Read it on one side. Luckily, it fits. And I bought this just at the local hardware store. You just screw it in and you pop that in there. I'm not gonna attach it or glue it onto this because I just want it to float in there. So that way in case I need to take this apart. I already test fit everything. Added this block so that way that's it uh, it's just starting to sprinkle right now even though I don't think this is gonna last I mean there's there's sunlight right there uh, but that's it guys starting to sprinkle uh, we got the downspout here I still need to put uh, like a little filter on that spout uh, so that way mosquitoes won't go in and out but secure there, water comes down, goes into the spout, goes into this, drops into here, and then once this starts filling up here, it starts going into this one. It's kind of like the overflow, or kind of the same thing. So that way, when you open up the valve here to get water, water comes out of there, that the water's coming out pretty much from both of these at the same time. So maybe that would give it a little bit uh, better pressure. This is 110 gallons we're saving. And if my calculations are correct from the size of that roof, this should save me about 600, 600 to 625 gallons of water for the year. So time will only tell like if, it, if these two will always be full throughout the year, kind of depends how much we use it, depends on how much rain we're getting. I'm really hoping that this can help us with our pumpkin patch by watering that if not you know if that doesn't work out for some reason then I can always move it if you can make it movable if you're unsure at least it's there you have it you can see how it works I mean I'm picturing this could be something that we use for pigs move it where the pigs at the pigs can go under there for shade uh, put a pig nipple water on the bottom there I mean it could be for our chickens I mean, I can move it on top of our property up there. This right here, this is, this is sweat. This is not water. I don't picture moving this with the mini truck or by hand if these two barrels are full. I'm gonna make plans for this, but I'm gonna see how this goes. See if I like it. See if there's anything I need to update before I start building plans. Well, it's just teasing. I don't think it's gonna rain. Let's see if we can just test it out. Hose doesn't really go that far. Also, we might put a greenhouse in this area. So maybe we could move that on the side of the greenhouse, use that to water it. I could throw a pump on it, pump out the water, a little bit more pressure. Now we're just waiting for it to rain. I mean, usually it's been all or nothing lately, where all of a sudden we get a pour down and then two, three weeks of nothing. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.